Hi Aquarius, welcome to your quantum reading. <laughs> this is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. Welcome as always to my cross watchers, cross watcher. Maybe you're dealing with an Aquarius and actually the message is for you. So just take it however it resonates with you and your situation. Keep in mind these are general and timeless readings. All my information down below in the description box. <laughs> description box. My website link, Instagram handle, all of that is down below. And thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing. Thank you for all the ways that you've just been here and supported the channel. Let's jump in. That is so weird. Okay, so that was kind of poking out a little bit before. Why do I feel like that king energy? I'm super tempted to take that, but um, I'll leave it in there. Look, the king flashed out and that's actually really crazy that I turned to it that quickly. So um, yeah, very interesting. Oh, this person might be emotional. There could be some kind of masculine energy that's grieving. They might be going through this realization right now mystic truths you might um you might have a knowing about a masculine and what is going on with them you could have just known it or you had it was either something about your inner knowing and something that they're going through right now it could be somehow connected to you this person might not have um because i'm kind of getting there was some interesting process between you and another masculine possibly aquarius however you were connected to them because we have this box energy i almost feel like if your energy felt contained for a significant amount of time you might feel like there's someone here that is like connected to that this masculine is in some kind of sorrow over something that's a little intense over there. Okay. Um, maybe you're putting intentions out there. Some of you guys might believe in prayer. That's amazing if you do. So I'm cool with whatever. But if some of you guys aren't into that, this could just be that you're very much about your intentions right now and what you're putting out into the universe. Maybe you're even like praying for a person or praying about a situation or trying to find the answer or listen for the answer on what is to come next or what your next action steps are because we do have a seed here i feel like that's floating in your vicinity because you're kind of like you're very conscious of these two energies some of you guys might be looking for security in some way maybe you're dealing with a mother or some of you guys are mothers but we have this desert energy and the seed it's like you're trying to start something up right here and the desert this could be something about i don't know if it's like geographical or there's just something here about um like weather elements if we're gonna go to that if that is somehow involved in the situation we'll kind of throw that out over there and then we've got the self and the cosmic okay there's laughter that's going to come in that i think will align you very surprisingly it's almost like some kind of comic relief or making a joke out of something that maybe felt serious that also could be someone here in your environment there could be someone here that's connected to their self they might be trying to get you to laugh or wants to like see another side of you if you've been serious in some particular way okay let's go into it yeah there's chiron i feel like you guys have been dealing with that in general so there's chiron we have blood don't get too caught like freaked out by that we have the androgyne androgyny is it androgyny <laughs> please don't judge me for that shiz aquarius okay and then let's grab just one more if that's all that will come out sometimes it's been more so let's see hello 
Okay, and then we have resin. All right. Okay, this is a very interesting reading, Aquarius. Okay, I do feel like something is happening. There's even quite a few different people here um, that you've been dealing with. And I want to point out some key pieces of each card. Chiron, Chiron is obviously... Okay, I've talked about it previously, but in her book... So she talks about how... Um, in Greek mythology, Chiron is like the rejected son of Saturn who through like abandonment becomes this huge great teacher and healer. And so it talks about how like you'll be revered in some way for a process that was very painful to you. And it's like very paradoxical, you know, it's very paradoxical. And so... Somehow that's coming into play, like a deep wound. You're very aware of it, I suppose, if you're dealing with one or multiple energies. This is just like somehow playing in the background. So you've got a conscious light of awareness on it. See how that light is almost shining in on this piece of you? Don't get too freaked out by this because it's obviously just like... It's just a remembrance of vitality and just like your existence. There's something here about maybe that will, um, not to say anything like that is going to happen, but it's just like um, there's an alchemical part of that. Some of you guys, there actually could be a significance around that. Like, I don't know if you're getting like blood tests or like there's a coagulation card. There's something about um, the fluidity of that. Oh, very interesting. That could be coming into play in a very weird way that might even surprise some of you guys. But here are the other cards that I wanted to touch on that are super freaking fascinating. Okay. Um, there could be something coming up over this next week. You're trying to move in the direction of this seed energy. I feel like it's floating in your vicinity. Like you're at this... Um, you want to start something new. You want to make sure that it's not a mirage or that you're doing it based off of the right reasons. And so there could be something here where you're assessing something or you're trying to start something new over there with that seed. Okay. You also have this energy over here, like filtering in. I almost feel like it's more connected to your intuition. You might even see little things popping up and you're kind of like, aware that there's a person here that's going through some kind of process that's somehow connected to you okay this masculine energy is very strongly in your energy you guys could have flipped roles you're now kind of like in their process they're now in yours because of whatever freaking entanglement you guys went through they're very strongly in your energy okay i don't know what they're doing but they're just floating around over there and then you've got some other human over here <laughs> I don't know if you guys are like trying to figure out w what direction to go in. Like if you should, I don't know if you guys are looking at home security stuff with that mother card. Like you're looking at a protective energy. Because I was going to mention that briefly over here with the um, androgyny. Because it can talk a little bit. I wanted to specifically talk about this because it can talk about an energy that is protective of you. Um, what was it? Hold on. I apologize. It was in the resin card. So this can talk about like the differences between stability and transparency and even the merging of both like it's a very fascinating material energy that's coming somehow into maybe your relationship dynamics and then we've got something going on here is what I wanted to talk about this can talk about a holding energy that is like a whether it's literally or physically however it's manifesting but it's someone that's well intended but they they may be limiting you, but they have a, a wish or desire to protect you. And that's what it feels like it's coming in because like you have this wound, it's driving you on a path. You might be doing very different things or starting up brand new things. There could be a very protective energy that is 
doing things that are and maybe you've even got a forgiveness element to you where you're willing to write off maybe something that someone is doing it could have actually been a little bit disastrous <laughs> of what, but someone was like trying to protect you it was like maybe some internalized fears that were being projected onto you maybe it's because you've got this new energy that's just kind of uh, gestating over there that seed it could be starting to just like it's magnifying within you it's getting bigger and stronger that you're moving in this direction it's like probably already there to be completely honest now this one this um androgyny i'm going to talk about just like the basics of it because um it says to kind of ponder these concepts of sexuality without language and intimacy without sexuality <laughs> okay so I feel like there could be something going on you guys are moving through a wound I feel like this is very deep like depending on which house it's hit some of you guys it could be in your health in some way but you've got an awareness of it this is like your chronic thing that you always deal with you come across it every once in a while you just get like the reminders of it in some particular way okay yeah probably because of this so you're receiving attention the six of wands and the hanged man right there and that's why like this is so typical chiron it's kind of like you are receiving attention for the healing that you've done some of you guys might even be getting on the path where like i said you are like um you went through all this rejection and abandonment in some particular way, but now you're shining because of it. So it can be like a very conflicting, like I said, a paradoxical emotion because on one side you're like, this is, this is your wound, you know, but you're receiving attention and glory or triumph from it. Maybe it's because like there's even an element where you're, you know, this um, transparency that you have. You know that you're kind of just like open about things you've released a lot of i feel like shame or detachment you might even be able to laugh about things that most people would find to be very insecure you've already developed past a lot of those things that maybe other people are still in the midst of trying to go through that process but you could have already overcome all of that looks like you're the one standing out in some particular way yeah this makes sense so we have the magician and the five of cups i i keep getting that who's this masculine energy it could be someone here that's in regret um th this energy might be looking back at you I wonder if you guys have already released that, but this person here, there's something going on. This is going to sound really strange, but there's just something here about um, energy here. And this person, I feel like there's a person here that really strongly wants to come forward towards you. They feel like they made some kind of mistake right here and they don't want it to like, um, they feel like something passed by like for example this person could have oh, i don't know if i want to say it it's like this person is strongly in this energy of trying to manifest you but they did something over here to kind of like mess with their energy sensitivity and they're like really conscious of that that they could have done something that they regret Maybe they fell off balance in some way or they weren't reading you. Um, we have the Queen of Cups, the Seven of Cups, and the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah. I feel like that's you, actually, with your heart opening back up. I do feel like you're coming across as emotionally mature. That's at least how people are viewing you, okay? You might have a lot of options and choices, you're, it also looks like you're progressing very slowly in a particular direction because especially for those of you, you could have had multiple decisions and you might be checking something out or, or investing in something specific with the Seven of Pentacles. You could be moving in a particular direction and I feel like this is this moment where you're coming across this energy of 
like I said, like a very fascinating interaction with, um, seriously, sexuality without language and intimacy without sexuality. Like it's some very fascinating interaction that you might deal with and it could be some particular path with your Chiron wound. Okay. I'm not going to get into the details too much, but we do have the Three of Swords. Some of you guys could be dealing, maybe this is a third party energy that might come up. Be super cautious of those. You know, don't get in the mix right now. It's really not the best time, but that might be some repetitive pattern for some of you guys that you're trying to move through. There's the subconscious with the moon. So there's the Chiron wound that could be coming up. You guys could be dealing with um, potential triangulation situations. And then there's the Hermit. They might be mirroring things because you might be still associating yourself with a certain position. And then you're going to go through a little bit of this trip. The Hermit card is maybe you're interacting with, interacting with a particular person. This person might be very wise. This person also um, is like doing, checking for internal impressions every time you communicate. But I also get that there's a lot of intuitive. It's almost like with a particular energy. This is going to sound weird. I know this is not going to be for all of you, but this is a very fascinating dynamic because there's almost like an attraction element somewhere in your vicinity, but it's either not being communicated or even approached at all. Like it might not even be spoken. It's a very unspoken energy that's just kind of existing right here. And I feel like you, almost like your emotional depth is what is about that. Um, you also could be, like I said, someone's perceiving you to have a lot of options, but you're like investing or you're scoping it out and trying to figure out the direction to invest in. Like you're, you're just exploring options right now is what it feels like. It doesn't just have to be in people. It could just be that you're trying to actually take really logical grounded steps to explore the things that you've had in your imagination it's more kind of that typical thing because you might have an awareness of this that you need to take care of when it comes to like a health issue or a, a relationship pattern that you deal with there could be signs and synchronicities that are popping up that are very prevalent and you might be interacting with a particular person and this person is in deep sorrow. Like whoever this energy is, Aquarius, I do feel like it's something about you receiving attention. This, there's a person that's going through an emotional reaction. I think it's just good to maybe like be very humble about that process. You know, don't be overly like, oh, they're getting what they deserve. Like just be very present as people go through their reactions because it's not to say that maybe people did make mistakes with you or um, treated you very unfairly and unjust and I would say just be present and um, you know stay humble as you watch people's like reactions as things are coming up right now okay it'll just help you move through the process a little bit easier because some of you guys might, there's like maybe a bit of a holding pattern because you might be dealing with certain energies as you're um, coming into connection with yourself and maybe receiving attention and rec recognition. There are certain energies that are gonna be having reactions to that. And so be patient with holding patterns because like, um, eventually they're going to go through their emotional processes. Some of them, it might cause them to maybe temporarily feel like they need to manifest you back. And you're just kind of being patient with whatever emotional process they're going through. Because some of you guys might be just like doing, maybe you're just going through this acceptance phase. If you're in a little bit of a time of solitude or just checking in but I, this felt like some of their energy you were interacting with to be honest 
it feels like there's a protective energy around you because I keep getting that was the resin card that's also this transparency someone could have done something out of protection but it like could have actually caused some issues for you and I'm getting here that there's a person here that recognizes that you're in a lot of pain right now. This person might even feel like you're a little bit fragmented or you're trying to pull yourself together or there's some kind of deep wound that you are trying to address at this time. And there's a person here that looks like they're very wise. They're kind of holding space. If you come across someone that is like that, that is like either a little bit advanced or they're in some kind of different phase of development. This could be a kind of master in their own right. This is Virgo energy. So this person is very good with their self-care. They take care of themselves at a really good level. That is the direction I would go in, especially this is all action-oriented rather than procrastination. So it looks like you're actually kind of merging back and forth through those two energies of taking action and trying to get out of um, illusionment where you're, it, it could even be about burnt out, but you're like taking some steps right now to try to address something. And of course this is gonna come up because probably someone's gonna be really, someone's gonna sense something about your emotional intelligence or your depth and this person will probably want to be close with you or f like feels an intimacy with you that they are lacking in another area. And so that's why I said, you know, be conscious of other, you know, any kind of separations because it feels like to me, this is like a temporary thing. You know, someone might just have an attraction to you because they haven't really felt you like, um, or the type of person that's emotionally developed the way that you are. It's like the typical Aquarian uniqueness. Someone will just be kind of acting like that. But it's like, keep focused on changing patterns that you wish to change and stay true to yourself and don't break your own heart, okay? And I do feel like there's just this wise energy they'll they'll hold space they won't be very much like trying to interfere with your process they might say things here and there that feel that this person is like in touch with themselves but this entanglement looks like it would be beneficial because um it looks to me that a person sees that you're transparent or it's like you're not hiding stuff i don't get anything like that like you feel like you're very much owning who you are and there's a lot of shame that you've already disconnected from around your Chiron wound so it's like you're not really coming across that way as overly sensitive or things like that but intuitively you'll probably be connected with a particular person if this is some kind of master person and this might be a good direction for you to move when it comes to finding answers like that could be a part of it. That looks like part of the positives that are going to be coming up over the next week. Saturn will probably keep disciplining you. You know, like it's not time to really go out and play necessarily because you might still be working on something specific or trying to really stay focused on your Chiron wound or changing these patterns, okay? interesting Aquarius I'm gonna dive into the extended see whatever else wants to come out if you guys want to join me over there feel free go down below click on the Vimeo link see you over there but Aquarius if this is where we leave things sending you so much love wishing all the very best see you in your next reading take care